So today we will be creating our own beetle collection. I hope you had a chance to get online and look at the micro sculpture uh, photos of Levon Biss and see all of his cool photography of insects. Now before we start our little collection of insects today, I do have to admit that I am not a big fan of bugs. They kind of gross me out. I don't really like them, especially when they get all creepy crawly and you know on they land on me and things like that. But I do think they have some really cool textures and things that we can create today that'll make them look really beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna start with a piece of clean paper. Again, you can use any kind of paper that you have, big or small. Today I'm gonna to be doing a larger version. You will need a pencil and some colors today. All right, so I'm gonna start off with my paper in the portrait position, so it is long ways up and down. And I'm gonna go to the middle of my paper. I'm gonna leave some room for my legs. And I'm just gonna start with a basic oval shape. Now beetles and bugs come in all kinds of shapes, so it's okay if your oval or your shape is not perfect, right? They come in all kinds of crazy shapes. So I'm going to take this oval and then I'm going to go above it. I'm going to do a rainbow shape for my head. From here I can add little antenna if I want to with little dots on top or I can just leave it. You don't have to add them if you don't want to. Then inside of my big oval, I'm gonna add what looks like a weird Y, and these are gonna be for my wings. So I'm gonna come down like this. Okay, so that's the top of my Y, and then I'm gonna come straight down to the bottom to add wings for my little beetle. Now from here, we're gonna add six legs. We are going to cut this out, so if you think the legs might be a little difficult to cut out, you can just cut out the beetle and we can add legs with twigs or grass or something like that. All right, so I'm gonna to come to the top, and the first thing that I'm gonna do is just gonna be this kind of crazy line shape that kind of comes up and out. And then from the bottom, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do one that comes down like this, and then one on top that comes down like this, okay? Now from here, I can make them a little bit thicker. They're kind of bumpy and crazy, so they don't need to be a straight line. They can just be kind of bumpy and weird looking, okay? Now those are gonna be my beetle legs. You can see they're kind of wavy and strange. And from here we wanna add some patterns into our wings and into our body up here. Now I have some examples. For example, I have this one that has some zigzag diamond shapes and little uh, lines. They almost look like little seeds, I think, since I colored it pink. You also have this one which you can see I've already cut out, and I just did straight lines from my corners and then my little rainbow shape in the middle. You can see I cut out my legs too, and I added glitter on this one so that it's nice and sparkly. So I have a nice, pretty, shiny beetle. For this one, I'm in the process of cutting out my legs. I did a little bit different of a shape for this one. I added my head and then I did a long, what looks like a long rainbow with little pinchers coming out. And my legs, they kind of bend up here. So the great thing about this is you can be as creative as you want to with your insects, kind of like the insects, again, that you saw online um, at the microsculpture.net. All right, and you can see here, I didn't really add very many shapes, but I did do a bunch of different colors, so it almost looks like a rainbow in here. All right, so from here, again, you can add all kinds of lines. Maybe I want this one to look really like a beetle, and I can add some straight lines right here. And then up here, I could do some circles and polka dots. Maybe I want some zigzags. Maybe I want some long lines like this, right? You can be as creative with it as you want. And then once you're done adding some patterns, you are going to add some color. You can use either markers or crayons or glitter like I did. Just make sure you ask your parents which one is okay, before, especially before using glitter. You can also, create your own collection by doing multiple ones like I have done here, or you can make them really small. All right, oh, I like this one. I did a little bit different of a shape with this one. Or you can do some small ones and have your own little bug collection with a bunch of little small beetles. So if you're not sure, you're like, man, I have so many ideas. 
you can do all kinds of different colors and shapes and designs on your beetles. Now notice again I did use um, paper. I cut out my legs and everything but some of them were kind of hard to cut out like this one. This one's kind of falling off you can see. So if you accidentally cut off a leg not to worry you can either tape your legs on or again you could use grass or twigs or pipe cleaners. Pipe cleaners get a little heavy but it's up to you whatever you want to use around your house. You can also use shoe boxes to display these by putting some paper underneath and making it look like you actually have a bug collection. Alright, so that is our lesson for today. I cannot wait to see the collections that you guys come up with. Let me put this one back on. Here's my big beetle. And bye for now.